Good day everyone, this is Mom Adoko and today's tutorial video I will be discussing about buying and selling. And before I go to my discussion, I would like to invite you, dear students, to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Bright Minds. Click the notification button so that you will be aware for new videos. And then don't forget to click like and comment. One can start a business through buying and selling, even with a small amount of capital start up. What do you mean by buying and selling? For manufacturing companies, they buy the raw materials, process them, and sell the finished goods to merchandising companies or individuals. For merchandising companies, they buy the finished goods and sell them to customers. But before the retailer, wholesaler, and manufacturer sell their goods, they must first set the prices of goods they want to sell. Setting the right price is important for goods to sell. If the price is too high, the customers may not be able to afford it. And if it is set too low, the company may not be able to make a profit. Setting the price should be able to absorb the cost and operating expenses of the company or the individual and still give a margin for the company to earn a profit. Our lesson objectives are at the end of this lesson, you will be able to differentiate mark on, mark up, mark up cancellation, and mark down. Differentiate mark up and margin. Compute for mark up based on cost. Compute for mark up based on selling price. And compute the original price or cost. Solve this first, guys, and I know you can do it. Vida is a student who does buy and sell on her spare time. She buys and sells anything she believes her classmates or schoolmates would buy. If she bought a perfume for 1,500 pesos per bottle or a bottle, and she wanted a markup of 20% on cost, how much will she sell for it? If she wants a markup based on selling price of 1,700 pesos, how much will be her markup? We will answer this problem at the end of the video. Let me define first what is cost. Cost refers to the purchase price of an article. Ceiling price is the original price plus the markup or minus the markdown. Okay, so let me give you the equation for the ceiling price. Okay, so let us denote the ceiling price as s and then the original price or cost as c and the markup okay as m we go to initial markup or mark on initial markup or mark on refers to the amount added to cost to arrive at the original selling price Initial markup or mark on sometimes referred to as margin and margin is defined as the difference between the original selling price and the cost. I have here an example. Angela marked the merchandise she bought for 200 pesos. 
to sell at 250 pesos. So, how much will be the initial markup or mark on? Okay, so the cost of the merchandise is 200 pesos. And Angela intend to sell the merchandise to 250 pesos. So this is the original selling price. And then how much will be the initial markup? Okay, so original selling price less the cost, 250 pesos less 200 so the initial markup will be 50 pesos we proceed to additional markup or simply the word markup markup refers to amounts added to the original ceiling price to arrive a new ceiling price. So I have here an example. This is in continuation with the first example of Angela. If Angela decides to increase the ceiling price from 250 to 280. So the original price is 250 and then she decides to increase it to 280. So what will be the additional markup? Okay, so the original selling price of the merchandise before was 250 pesos. And then she is now intending to sell the merchandise to 280 pesos. Okay, so how much will be the markup or additional markup? Okay, so 30 pesos is the additional markup or markup of the merchandise. Let's continue to markup cancellation. Markup cancellation refers to the decrease in the new selling price that does not decrease it below the original selling price so the the merchandiser can reduce the new selling price as long as it will not go beyond or below the original selling price so i'm going to use um the example of angela again if Angela observed that the new selling price of 280 pesos is not appealing to customers. Angela can lower the price as long as the new lowered price will not go below the original selling price that has been set before. Okay, so from our previous example, the new selling price of the merchandise is 280 pesos. And then Angela is convinced with herself that the new selling price is not attractive to the customer. So she decided to cancel the markup. Okay, so markup cancellation with 20 pesos. Okay, so when you see open and close parentheses, guys, so it means reduction. Okay, so the new reduced selling price is 260 pesos. But still... Angela wants to reduce the markup. Okay, so let's say let's reduce it with 10 pesos. 
Okay, so what have you observed? Okay, so it goes to the original selling price. Okay, so Angela decides to go back to the original selling price of 250 pesos. Okay, so that is the meaning of markup cancellation as long as you will not go below the original selling price. We continue with the word markdown. Markdown refers to the reduction in the original selling price. So this time, it is the reduction in the original selling price. So uh, I will still use the example of Angela. Angela again reduces the selling price from 250 pesos to 240 pesos. Okay, so the original selling price is 250 pesos and then she marked it down to 240 pesos. Okay, so how much will be the markdown? So the markdown is 10 pesos. So this is the reduction from the original selling price. So this is the, the markdown. And again, she decided to mark down again with 10 pesos. Okay, so Angela come up with the new selling price of 230 pesos. Okay, so don't forget okay, the, direction, the reduction in the original selling price is called markdown.